I've used it and that's true. It's uh, so much more controllable uh, to, to tighten the loop around the file edge. I found the most frustrating part is having the loop slip off the file after yeah. you've yeah. cropped and you get it around there and you're ready to go and it comes off three times. So yep. with yours, I don't, that doesn't happen to me. When I use yours, I'm able to tension it so well that it almost always grabs the file. So that's, that's, really, that's really unusual. I never thought about having the assistant be in charge of the tensioning, but that takes 50% of the challenge out. Yeah. So you exactly. only concentrate on the file segment and the loop and, and not slipping on it. Once you tension that, you forget about it. You don't exactly. Have to, you don't have to pay yep. any more attention to the tension of the, the, the loop around the file. The wheel is on the back. That's right. So we tested a lot, and what I found out is that if you concentrate, if you have to concentrate on placing the loop mm -hmm. and removing the file, doing the right movements, and keep the tension of the loop, mm -hmm. this is very hard. It's like it's we, really we, we cannot concentrate on too many things. Yep. And this, you give that away. You, you give that, that you, you can concentrate just on the placement and on the movement to remove the file. Mm -hmm. So really what important. we did is we, we choose a strong cannulor and not too long. Mm -hmm. And then with, I hold it with my finger, I can, I can really touch the cannulor and like, I can feel the connection to the file. And that makes it, that gives it much more tactile feeling. Right. It's like I, and I, can, and I, it, I can feel what I do. At the end of the day, it's a, it's a highly tactile experience. I can testify that the engineering and the manufacturing is top flight. Thank you. The device is, uh, it, it, if, if it worked for heart surgery, it would be appropriate. It's made <laughs> to that level. So we put an extra bearing in it and it takes actually away almost all in-system friction mm -hmm. so that you can really feel the tension of the loop. So what and, you... And I, I found that to be very true. Yeah. When you first showed me this and we're talking about the bearing, I thought, well, why do you need a bearing there? <laughs> and once I experienced what it feels like, it, you have no control. You can't feel the tackle. You don't have tactile feedback when the friction is increasing. With the bearing, it's, it's effortless and you only feel the tactile sense of what the, the wire is doing around the file. It's becoming very sensitive yeah, and, and, and fantastic. Yeah. The other thing that is really unique about your uh, system is um, you've got a super high quality device that is you re autoclavable, reusable, and you only replace the needle yeah. and the wire at the end. And I think that's great because um, you can spend more money on making the needle better because this is a reusable item. And it's more expensive, obviously, but it's worth it. Yeah. To buy the, I love the cow, Endo Cowboy. Um, it kind of fits in with how I buy all my other tools in the industry. I want something that is durable and predictable, and if I use it for 20 years, it still works. Yeah, exactly. And that's it's a lifetime instrument. We put a lot of effort in the wire. Okay. So we have this partner, uh, which I found is like, these amazing guys who have like more than 100 year experience in wire drawing. Wow. Um, in medical wire drawing. Right. So they are really like amazing people there and they did a fantastic job. So we worked a long time finding the perfect wire for this, this, this instrument. For instance, you can feel the quality of the surface. Mm -hmm. And what we found out is that the, the, the new wire is almost has double the tear resistance of well, traditional stainless steel. Yeah. And it's That's amazing. That's fantastic. Either. Resistant. It's a whole different experience when the, you know the wire's not going to break. It's like you can like get some elbow grease, as we yeah. say, <laughs> and like yeah. lean on it, and the patient's head's going like this, and it comes out. And removing files is really horrible when you don't have a predictable technique because yeah. you're going to invest a lot of time and you don't even know if it's gonna work. Once you start seeing a predictable technique, it, it, you're right, it gets to be fun. It's so much fun. Yeah, it's very satisfying. There's no better feeling right. than taking out a file. It, it, I mean, of course, if it's the file you break yourself, it's, it's, you it's have relief. to get it out. Right. It's a relief. Right. It's right. You, you, you don't have to tell anybody. It's right. like, it, exactly. if you have, take it out, it didn't happen. That's right. If um, a tree fell in the forest and nobody heard it. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Right. exactly. So, and, and if you take a file out somebody else broke, then like you're like heroic. Like, yeah, right. And, and that's the best of all worlds. Yeah, right. It doesn't get better than that. 
So one of our favorite parts about Endo is it's a noble enterprise that we help a patient save a part of their body. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah so great. Well, thank you for uh, joining us. Um, I love your tool. I'm a big fan, and uh, I'm actually hoping that we can bring it into the United States because I think uh, American dentists are going to love it.